lovely day. I'm on the way to uni. I am going to the Haas series. Um, this is my second one. It's all about leadership and hopefully it's going to be an amazing time. Hi everyone, it is Thursday and it's amazing, look at the sunshine, it's absolutely beautiful day and so let me take my shades off, sorry. So today I've got an amazing day, I'm going to meet my mentor, we've got a nurse forum to go to and then after our nurse forum I'm going to go and observe um, a training session run by IH Choices, I will put the link below, they're a fantastic company, my friend Kelly um, and work colleague, she runs the sessions. I haven't actually observed her do this yet, so I'm really excited, can't wait. So today's gonna be a great day. The sun's out, my shades are on, my smile's on. Let's have an amazing week, everybody. I'm back, the sun's shining. I'm in my garden to vlog because it's beautiful, so why not? Um, so today was amazing. I went to the nurse forum with my mentor. I got there and I was the first one there, it was really early. I got there about quarter past 11, didn't start till 12. So I was the first person there. And guess what was there waiting for me when I arrived? That's right, free food. Everybody knows I love free food. Um, I think I was the only person that took a dessert and I felt really awkward, I was like, yes i'll have that but it was amazing i got free food i got free beverages hot drinks cold drinks water you name it a free notepad everyone loves a freebie and then throughout the nurse forum there it was just generally updates so updates on medication and the alzheimer's society i'll post the link below for them they came and did a, a talk about dementia and dementia awareness and how we can improve it in the services and how to refer dementia patients as general practice nurses so that was really good we were introduced to carmel o'brien who is the new chief nurse of primary care um, so she just gave us her backstory and what got her into nursing so that was really nice to be introduced to her and find out more about her so a pharmacist come along and he spoke about all the pharmacological changes um, inhalers wound care the blood glucose monitors as well we had a little update about the gp conference the one that i went to so they brought back the information for the others to update them about what went on in the gp conference so that was really good because i was at that um so i knew what they were talking about it's fantastic and it was just it was a really good experience i really loved it i took a lot away from the session and the other nurse that works at the clinic that i work at i tell her all about the nurse forum because she couldn't make it unfortunately and she told me to take some notes so that's what i did and so yes yeah, so after that i went and i watched my good friend and colleagues kelly and Alexis do their training. They do training sessions on all different things. They do sexual health, LGBT, transgender inclusivity. They go to prisons, they go to schools, they go to a whole variety of places. It's for school kids, it's for staff, it's for everybody. And their session was just amazing because, I mean, I know Kelly's a really good nurse anyway, and I know Lexus is great because I've worked with them and I've seen them at work. And what they generally do in clinics is fantastic. So I knew from this, this session would be amazing and the session was just it was fantastic it was a good com combination of giving them the facts and all of the information but they were making it interesting and they're making it fun and they're, they're including the whole room they put on like little quizzes and things and really interactive things that they can do and it was a really good session they gave out prizes as well and um, they made it really fun really relaxed really chilled and it was fantastic and i'm sure they got great feedback from that session from all of the teachers that they were training and so that session was all about LGBT awareness, all about terminology, how they can manage LD LGBT pupils, what they think they can do to improve the services in the school that they work at. And there was like a little video for them to watch. And like I said, there was just like games and things for them to interact with. So it was really, really good, fantastic session. I'm so glad that I went and watched 
There is another one that I'm going to go to at a prison, so that'll be amazing, a really good experience for me. And I can't wait. And I'm going to put the name below. It's Inspiring Healthy Choices. That's the name of the company that Kelly's created. It's just amazing. I'm going to put the link below so you can all go have a look at that, see what you think. And if you're interested in booking them, book them in because they're fantastic. They're really good, really helpful. It's just been an amazing day. And I'm just going to go and enjoy the sunshine. I'll speak to you tomorrow. It's Friday. I'm in my garden again. I've just finished placement. It's about four o'clock and I've got the, the weekend off. Uh, why doesn't anybody love general practice nursing? You get so much time off, you get to relax, you can spend time with your family, you can enjoy the sunshine, you can sit in the garden, it's fantastic. So as you can see, I've had a really busy week this week. Monday, I was nine till seven at the general practice with my mentor seeing a variety of patients. Tuesday, I finished about half past three and we saw a variety of patients again. Wednesday morning I did the asthma clinic with my buddy mentor which is always really good to see. I love to see the asthma and COPD patients, it really interests me and actually it all interests me. Every single patient interests me, I just love it all. And then after that as you saw I went to the HARS seminar series which I'm going to vlog about. I'm going to start a separate vlog on the seminar series and I'm just going to release a series of vlogs on it. I'm going to do it completely separate to these vlogs because I, th I find it difficult to combine the the week with my placement as well as the hard and it's all getting a bit mixed up I think so I'm going to create two separate vlogs so watch this space for that one and then Thursday morning I had the morning off as you could see it was beautiful I was in my car I was enjoying the sunshine I had an amazing drive I went to the nurse forum went to the inspiring healthy choices session it was, it was just great it was such a lovely day on Thursday and today I've just I've had a great day. Today I've been with the doctor and um, I got there really really early so the doctor didn't actually start until quarter to 11 and I got there about quarter past nine so I thought what can I do with my time? I thought I know I'm gonna create something for the next student. So what I did was I created a student nurse guide to your clinics because in general practice you will have your own clinics, you'll have hypertension clinics, asthma clinics, diabetes clinics, you do your foot checks and everything. So I wanted a checklist kind of thing, um, like an overall view of actually what should you be doing for your patients before they leave your clinic because that's something that I really really wanted. If you remember from my previous vlog um, when my mentor said to me okay you're gonna be running your own clinics and I was like oh god can I write a checklist with you so I don't miss anything because if a patient goes I'm gonna be traumatized if I've missed something. So that's something I really wanted. So I've created it for the next student. I've created this little checklist for them, which I'll post a little picture because I took a picture of it. It's not complete, 100% 100 complete yet. I've filled it all out, I've done it on Word, I've saved it to my mentor's desktop, and then Monday when she comes in, she will see it because I've printed a copy and left it there for her, and just wrote a little note for her just to say, to, can you check it over, make sure it's all right, can we use this for future students so they can have a look at it and see what she thinks. So hopefully it's good. I pray and I haven't missed anything, but we'll find out one day about that one. So yeah, overall I've had an ama another amazing week. Um, you're all gonna be sick of hearing me telling you how great my life is right now. So I'm sorry about that, but please embrace it. Take on the positivity. Have a look at going into, if you're a student nurse, going into general practice because you will love it. You'll fall in love with general practice. And I've got two left of my placement and uh, the last video I do on this placement is going to be emotional I'm gonna what I'm gonna warn you all now because I'm not looking forward to leaving and it's making me sad thinking about it already so the weather's hopefully is gonna be amazing it's gonna stay nice I hope I hope everyone's having a great weekend whatever you're doing if you're on placement if you're working if you're studying if you're revising if you've got the time off to do something so have a great weekend see you next week